So here's the pot that has been out on my veranda all summer, which I had to bring in again due to more wind, high winds. I have been taking quite a few, actually, from here um, as they ripen. They're all down in here. I'll pick some today. And um, it's been a really productive little tiny tim plant it's filled with tomatoes and as well in this pot i have let me rotate the i've got it on a blanket as i brought it in the house um these are my peppers oops and tomatoes in here mixing so these will i will wait till they're red just little hot peppers here but this plant's also doing well and they're still producing. At this point, I'm probably going to leave it inside because we're soon frost. Now, I have picked uh, one only of these for a breakfast I, we had. And um, they're mildly hot. Like, they do have a bit of heat. I was surprised. I wasn't expecting that. And then I've picked two off of here. These are just some hot wax. Always a nice little flavor. I like it with eggs in the morning also. So that's my outdoor pot that's now going to be an indoor pot. I've been checking to make sure that I'm not bringing some form, any bugs in with it. Because when something's outside, I don't like to bring it in. Now it has come with a spider. Where is he? Here he is. I don't mind spiders. There he is. Um, he, can, he can have fun. Before I go outdoors to show you the rest, I uh, ran out to pick the tomatoes because I want to start simmering a pasta sauce. And I've already pickled some beets this morning. And I've got to decide something to do with some plums my girlfriend gave me. I just came to inspect some berries and uh, this blue jay doesn't like me being here. It's causing a racket. Um, soon there will be a frost and um, that's when we can go ahead and pick the partridge berries or lingon berries. So I'm just seeing what we've got. Every year is uh, different because different faunas take over and um, there seems to be quite a bit up here. We've just got it on our little rock plateau here. There's also the juniper berries are quite pretty and edible um, very strong they go with gamey meat I don't really use a whole lot of that but looks like there'll be a nice little partridge berry harvest up here Let's see what's here yeah this is Bruce's favorites it's very tart but um beautiful in jams and cooking and savory dishes definitely his favorite jam i'm not a big jam eater anyway i just like berries and more like desserts rather than jam anyways we'll go up and take a little tour at end of oh my lord he's getting angry at me now he's on top of my house let's see if i can see him what's wrong with you Sheesh. It's my house, not yours. Yeah, end of September, we'll take a little tour. Down here in this mess, I've, um, maybe today I'll do it before the really cold comes. We're soon getting into um, uh, mid, well, about October 12th, I think, is our first frost. And um, it's usually bang on. I don't like coming out in the cold and harvesting, so I think I'll get rid of those purple Peruvian possibly today and harvest them. And we'll go up and I'll give a quick tour of the very little that's left in the garden. Okay, so I've brought my basket out because I will um, do some harvesting and then some processing inside. Not much, but I've got uh, 
I slowed down on the celery because I got lazy. So I've got to get some kale and some celery. And parsnips could come out soon. Um, they don't necessarily need a frost. Yeah, I might check on the parsnips. Anywho, what have we got? So left in this bed is some probably smaller carrots here. Uh, yeah, looks good. I don't need carrots yet again, although I've been eating a lot. Let's see. Oh my goodness. That's not small. Let's take him. Oh no, he's perfect. But he's, uh, yeah, perfect. Let me wipe that off on grass. So, um, squash plant not got anything on it. Another squash plant, nothing on it. They did, and, oh, this, that, and the other thing, stuff falling off, and then slugs get them, and it's just been a hard time for these plants, so they didn't amount to anything. Uh, here is my parsnips, and I'll pull out. The beets are still just eaten. I've just left them. I thought, may as well let the sow bugs go to town with those, and, um, Maybe they'll leave other things alone. So there's probably one, two, I don't know, maybe four or five celery plants left there. I've got my leeks to come out. They're looking just fabulous, actually. I've been pulling those and had my leek and potato soup a couple of times. There's a lovely little acorn squash sitting in the around. Hope he's okay underneath there. You can see the foliage at this time of year is just really not looking that grand. Uh, still zucchinis coming every day and um, I'm just now eating them like crudites. And, um, yeah, every which way. I really enjoyed them. I don't think there's anything else here. A little fennel. Looks pretty sad, doesn't it? Now here I'm just trying to get some dill seed. Whether it has time. Goodness, I think that was supposed to be a cabbage, but that's not going to be anything. And then uh, I've got some fennel seed on the other. So squash plants still blooming, but that's great for the bees. Oh my, look. Look. There's where the beet is, eaten all the way down. Isn't that ridiculous? Let's see where did it even keep there? Oops, broke off on me. Look how big, oh, there's a carrot bite there. Well, anyways, and there's the sow bugs. Let's pull that out and see what we got. What a sin. Huh? What a mess. Anyway, I um, bought some beets. That's what I showed you with uh, the pickle beets I've done from the local farmer. Ooh, there's bugs and everything. So here, that's a zucchini that didn't make it. Um, somehow the snails know when a zucchini... <laughs> They know immediately when a zucchini doesn't get uh, pollinated, and they start attacking it, which is really funny. I've been gathering, I've got an awful lot, I've got two jars full of coriander, but I'll continue just to take those last few probably today. And sit down the table. A few celery left in this bed, not much. I've taken all that out. A little pepper there. I know, have a few hands. So little carrots, um, probably good size this one. Oh my goodness. Yeah, let's take that too. Oh, he's beautiful. He's beautiful. Come collect these later. So really, this bed has wound down. It's This is my Ron Denise. Zucchinis here. 
this one, yeah, you can see, didn't get pollinated. And immediately those big leopard snails, tigers, whatever they're called, leopard, is it? Just come and devour. Off you go. This was a beet. I completely cut the top off. Um, some leeks. Yeah, I'll get some of those and they're getting old and long. Long in tooth. Zucchini plants. That's about the, all that I'm getting these days is the zucchini. This little squash just grew to this size and stayed there. He's, that's not bad. There's, just got scarred, I guess. And um, he's ready to be cut, really. Bean bed is complete. We're out of focus. Hang on. The bean bed is finished. I'm just leaving the last few to... These kept um, the burgundy... Purple burgundy kept feeding me forever. So now it's just these big old ones here for seed collection. And I'll clean this bed out and tidy it up to get it ready. There's the Swiss chard that I've shown in others. Survived all summer in this very, very busy bean bed. And produced, I've been eating from it all summer. Thyme, I've clipped, clipped, clipped. Sage, I just did my final clippings of all my sage. I have three plants throughout the property. So that's that. This was my onion bed. And this some of the interplanting that was in the onion bed. Uh, the coriander. Going to flower. Some zucchini. They haven't produced as much here. They were behind, but uh, gotten a few from them. And a big old mess of purple Peruvian, which really was just one rogue. I don't know what's going on there. One rogue one. I've been stealing from it, though, and eating. And this is the um, seed fennel. So letting that go to seed. There's a big plant that had fallen over. I propped it back up, and he's fine. Okay. Leeks, some late cabbage that just um, aren't going to have the time to take off. Squash, chard, eating a lot of that. Actually, we're going to have some more today. This lettuce is, um, I'm going to pick also. It's uh, There's one there that's gone to see, but that's an old one. But these are the newer ones. They're fresh lettuce that... Um, I'm due for eating lettuce again. You know how you get tired or something? But uh, it's time to eat lettuce again, so we're going to get a nice haul of that today. This is uh, just broad beans to go to seed. Kale. I've got the three types. And, um, oh, now I hear a loon. Isn't that lovely? So I'll... I've got a lot of kale all over to pull in. Um, don't think this guy got did anything, did he? No, he's just about to, but a little, a little too late. That's a shame. Brussels sprouts. You've probably seen this before. That, but you know what? They've hung on. If we have a mild winter, they might keep on going. I don't know. Some leeks, a little smaller here in this bed. We did get a nice little, I think it's called a tay bell, uh, acorn squash. If they only grow this size, he's full size, and that's perfect. That's a little cabbage. Some kale. And, hmm. Not much of anything. I don't know if that got pollinated. If that got pollinated and it's got three weeks, it could make it, but I don't know if he got pollinated. Look at that. Brussels sprouts the size of, oh, I don't know, 
But the leaves will be edible now that the worms are gone. It should be if it keeps on growing. Might get some food there. Now this bed. Ah, purple Peruvian somewhere in here. My parsley I've been eating and eating and eating. And this was an indoor plant that I was getting old and not looking so good. Pulled it out and it has done fabulous all summer for me. I do use a lot of my flat leaf parsley. Um, cabbage looks like it's half eaten. I still have the scattered onions that I just left in. They're not really growing. They're just there. Now, this guy's got a little fly on him, but see ya. Now really, I haven't taken anything from this. Just, this is not a side shoot. <laughs> That's actually the broccoli. Big old plant. I don't think Bruce and I will uh, get a meal off of that. So just um, bits and bobs. Okay, I've got a hornet climbing on my phone right now. It's that time of year they do that too. See ya. Ah, oh, celery. Another Ford hook chard. But not much. Just cleaning up needs to be done here. Cleaning up. Same with down here. I'm going to pull in some of this lettuce. Today it's looking lovely, actually. And, uh, yeah, as I say, you know how you get sick of it, but this time of year I'm looking forward to that. Some carrots. These are the leeks that... Um, don't do well. There's another one gone to seed. It's the American flag. Just can't get that to grow here. So there's, I've got the globe artichokes that we cut off, but there's just a couple more of the small offshoots or pups coming. It's a Brussels sprout, carrots, cauliflower. <laughs> Joke. Don't know why I grow cauliflower. Just wait. I gotta step over thistle. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why I grew cauliflower. It's nothing but a, a nightmare. These gorgeous, gorgeous lacinato kales. I don't know what that is. Looks like a Brussels sprout also. Look, my goodness, not going to be anything, but I don't know if any of these, there may be some squash. I'm not sure. There's a Onion, I guess I should take that one in. Yeah. Cleaning up is what I'm going to do. And with the intent of really getting some of the last final uh, veg processed here. And I have up at the other end... I'll just go show you the few little squash, I think, is all that's up there. I just ran back. I forgot to show you the tomatoes. I just uh, did a harvest earlier, which I think is in the clip you'll see. Um, the sun gold are really so sweet. We've really enjoyed a lot of those. Um, these just look like raggedy old things, but eating them, and I made a, a lovely pasta sauce. So I've left, um, you know, all the broken ones from the two hurricanes. See, they're just hanging. But I figured I may as well ripe outside. Ripen. Um, yeah, this bed's got, um, I forget what you call that, lettuce growing in there. So these... Um, yeah, just as they ripen, I'll bring them in. Oh, and my cucumber. <laughs> this will be my first ever Newfoundland cucumber. Exciting, exciting. And I've got leeks in there. Oh, look, see, there's tomatoes falling everywhere. Yay. Leave that there and come back with that. Uh, 
yeah, leaks hidden in between there too. But that's that. Oh, and I have the carrots in the buckets up here, which I never did thin out. Bad me. So just a gnarly mess. But I'm sure I won't let them go to waste and no matter what size I get. I'll eat them. Okay, so we'll go up there. Bruce is just adding some stairs. Let me walk over here. I think it's one of these gorgeous rocks he's got. I don't know how he has a back left. So this is um, so that we can basically get up in water up here. Because as I mentioned before, Bruce is trying to compete. <laughs> I'm going to have Bruce's potato patch up there. Dream on, Bruce. But for now... So for now, this was the little bit of dirt that I threw up here, and a um, few squash. They're still a very green stemmed, and they haven't really changed the color. They should have by now. I've got some badly eaten rutabaga here, but <laughs> hey. I get something out of that. Stuff gone to seed, some charred more of the Ford hook and the uh, Silverado. Little guy here. Burgess Buttercup. Butter, not, not Burgess. <clears throat> Wrong one. And a zucchini. And that's all that's up here. Poor things are still trying to, still trying to produce the, it's a little late. And that's about it. Bruce has been very busy with his uh, brick wall, but he took the time kindly to get me uh, a few blueberries so uh, I still have an awful lot left from last year so I told him I didn't need many but this will uh, I'll go out also and get some myself from the lawn and happy days lots of yummy blueberries so for today's harvest this was the, from this morning the tomatoes I gathered I have pulled a few parsnips this one's a big one but, um, but they're all, um, aside from funny shapes, they're all in perfect condition, as are the carrots I've pulled. Beautiful. Some really lovely leeks. Um, been enjoying those, and so I'm just slowly... I've also put some in the freezer, too. So I don't know what I'll do with these. Some celery. A little bit of slug damage on these, so just as well I'm getting at the celery. There's another one back there. And a ton, ton, ton of kale here just so much um, I'll process that I think I have more than we'll ever need I don't know and then I did go down and get the purple Peruvian but I got almost halfway through and didn't want to do any more there something else to go digging for and I'm sure I've left a hundred of them out there I just uh, it's a lot of work hunting for these <laughs> They just crawl everywhere. So in the future, millenniums ahead and whatnot, there'll be purple Peruvian potatoes all over this property, I'm sure. So that's it. Have a wonderful week. See you next time.